Hey Cam Fam, it's Monica here from My Big Camera. In this video, we will be showing you how to pose and photograph a one-year-old baby for this very popular and important milestone session. After the newborn session, this will most likely become your most popular type of session, but it can actually be one of the hardest ages to photograph. We will go over the most important poses that you should try to get because there are some milestones that most babies will hit around this age that parents want to remember. We will also give you some tips to make your session go more smoothly. If you're new here, we create tutorial videos for portrait photographers, so if that's something that you're interested in, we would love it if you joined our cam fam by hitting that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that notification bell too so that you are notified when we release another video. We have lots more great content coming up. Okay, so let's get into the video. Elevated Sit one-year-old babies usually have really good balance at this point and can sit elevated on a prop without any problems. They can also get off the prop easily on their own without falling, but I still always make sure to have a parent spotting close by in case baby falls forward or backward. If it looks like baby doesn't have good enough balance, I would stick to props that they can sit inside of. Another important thing that we like to incorporate for a one-year session is some type of number one prop or letters that spell one. Here we've incorporated a gold number one prop, but you can use whatever you would like. Parents absolutely love these shots. Another fun shot is with the baby sitting in the middle of the letters that spell one. It can be a tricky shot to get, but it's super cute. You can also just have the baby holding each individual letter and then create a collage with the three photos. Since one-year-old babies do have more balance, you can even have them up on a higher prop, like this bench with their feet elevated off the ground a little bit. Just be sure to always have a spotter close by or if baby keeps trying to climb off you can do it as a composite. We really like this bench because the baby can hold on to the sides for more support. Usually babies can climb small chairs and furniture so a prop like this is not much different from that. Just make sure their feet aren't elevated off the ground by any more than an inch or two. They should be able to slide off the prop themselves without any issues. Sitting. You can get as creative as you want with sitting props and use a variety of props that the baby can sit inside of or just sit them on a bunch of textured layers. Just make sure that the props are big enough to hold the baby and stable enough in case they try to climb out of it. Most babies at one can pull to stand and easily climb out of props so make sure any props you use are sturdy or weighed down with some weights. We're using a large wooden bowl here which works great for this age. If you're having issues getting the baby to stay in the prop, you can give them something to hold that you don't mind being in the shot. We like to use beaded necklaces, cute compact mirrors, wooden maracas, wooden cars, and anything else that looks cute in the shot while keeping their interest. To get baby's attention, we sing nursery songs, clap our hands, play peekaboo, make farting sounds or animal sounds. We also use bell rattles, a puppet, and other toys that make noise to get them to look at the camera. We like to get babies engaged and having fun during the session. Adding a balloon for them to play with is a great way to do that. One tip I have is to avoid blowing the balloon up too much so it doesn't pop when they're holding it. It should always be a little squishy so even if the baby tries to squish the balloon, it shouldn't pop. Let them have fun with it and try to be quick to capture their cute expressions. These shots are also a parent favorite. If you can get a good crawling shot then that's great but most babies are expert crawlers by this point so you need to be really really quick. Two shots that we usually don't try to get at this age are tummy and back and that's mostly because babies will generally not stay in those positions at one year old for more than a split second. If you have a baby that doesn't move around too much you could definitely try to get those poses. We just find it's not worth upsetting the baby to try to get those shots. Standing. Many babies can pull to stand on furniture at one year old, and some are even standing on their own and walking. If a baby can stand on their own, we always, always try to capture a shot of that as it's a very important milestone for parents. We usually keep that shot super simple with just the baby in front of the backdrop because you may only have one chance at it. Otherwise, we always try to get a bunch of shots of baby standing while holding onto a prop. Pulling to stand is a very big milestone and they are generally very stable at this point. They may even try to push the prop so make sure that the prop is heavy and sturdy or that someone is holding it. 
We do this shot as a composite. We will take a shot holding the prop with baby standing up against the prop and then take another shot of just the prop and then composite those together in Photoshop. For your props we like to use chairs. This carriage is a fun one for girls and walker wagons are also a great option. This is actually our daughter's walker wagon that she's currently using to practice walking so it's the perfect type of prop for the shot and it's a wonderful memento for us too. You can even get some cute wooden doll carriage style walker wagons where the handle is at a perfect height for one year olds. Mover and Kinder Feets make some really nice ones and I'll link those down below in the description if you're interested in checking those out. If you like the radio flyer wagon I will link that down below too. Most babies are still pretty happy at this age but many times they are turning into toddlers or are teething so they may be fairly irritable. We recommend that the parents bring some snacks for the baby and we make sure to book the session before the one year vaccination so that they aren't sick or irritable from the vaccinations for the session. Some babies might be going through a stage of separation anxiety so you may need to have the parents position the baby in to get their attention. Try to keep the session fun and quick for the best results and if baby is already walking I may even suggest to the parents to do the session outside because a lot of the times they get very frustrated with being placed into one spot in a studio session and they just want to run around. It's a lot easier to chase them around and keep them happy and engage outdoors than in a studio where there may be chirping hazards like props or the edges of floor drops. That's it! Hopefully these tips help you out with your next session. We have lots more posing videos so I will put a link for our playlist up in the cards. If you like this video, we would love it if you would give it a big thumbs up as it really helps out our channel. And if you would like to download our free Photoshop actions that we use for editing all of our portrait work, I will leave the link for where you can download them down in the description box below. We would love it if you would join our cam fam by subscribing to our channel and be sure to turn on notifications too. Bye for now! And remember, keep creating!